Hey guys, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews. Some time ago I did a review on the Incubus 300 Mu. It was a very gorgeous designery um, cubicle ITX system um, from Incubus. It was just an amazingly good looking computer which was also super quiet. However, because of regulations of course, Incubus was not allowed to sell whole systems outside of Germany. Uh, more recently they started selling the case separately so you can put your own hardware inside of it. And that's why I'm doing an interview right now with the company founder and the lead designer, uh, Sebastian Vos. For everyone on YouTube, this is our second attempt at this, uh, so hopefully it should work fine. Um, so uh, tell me, what were you doing before you started Incubus as a computer company? What, what sort of PC were you running yourself before you did the Incubus cases? Um, Incubus uh, cases started uh, while my studies. I studied industrial design. And therefore, I had um, a workshop uh, from the university, and I just learned um, design, um, CAD, and so on. And I needed a new computer. My old one was some um, really slow, old, plasticky, cheap uh, PC, and I really wanted to uh, have a fast, unique and silent PC, so I just started um, to buy, build my own and um, in the same run to train my skills. That's, that's a really cool way of well, training your own skills in both design and actually building stuff by just you know, doing it yourself. Um, in our previous interview um, you told me about the other computer you were using, like an old plasticky computer. Um, what made you opt for like a properly built um, high quality computer that you did yourself compared to like the thin metal and plastic computers that you can buy off the shelf for basically no money. Um, as I told, um, it was a really slow computer, uh, so I s just started um, to change components, uh, work here and there and try to make it um, like I wanted to be. And when I started my studies, I just thought, why don't I build it from ground up and just decide everything by myself? Where are the hard drives, where are the fans, how loud it will get, how fast it is. And so it just developed slowly. Okay, and like when you first thought, okay, I need a new computer, did you immediately think of, I need a small cube ITX system? Or was it like, oh, I can do this and this, and then you build a few prototypes? How did that go? Um, I know I ne uh, needed a graphics card and strong processor, a CPU, and I just pl uh, planned it around it. Um, the first two uh, Incubi uh, were uh, micro ITX, so uh, a little bit bigger. And, oh, where was I going? <laughs> With the, uh, how you came to the ITX form factor and the cube, the small cube, if it was something you started with right from the starter. Ah, uh, no, no, uh, as I told, I started with micro ATX. Um, and the first two series, I started from the technical uh, point of view. But the third one, I just um, wanted to uh, make guidelines for the design. And I decided to, okay, it, had to, uh, it has to be a cube, it has to be small, but uh, I still have to fit everything in there. Okay, and you have, so you had two prototypes or different versions, do you still have those around, or? Um, the first series I um, sold to um, people out uh, from the Tom's Hardware Guide community. Yeah. Um, the second one is still running as my uh, main working computer uh, okay. for private stuff. Um, for Incubus stuff, I, of course, have an uh, Incubus uh, 300 Mu with a Xeon processor. Yeah, because I, I found that like a really cool um, built configuration with the Xeon in there instead of the, uh, well, the normal core CPUs. But so you get like server grade CPU, but still in a very small form factor that looks good as well. Found that, I found that really cool. <laughs> Thank you. And I really needed um, this CPU for SolidWorks oh, uh, cool. so that it runs stable. Um, most of my design work I do with um, CUT, 
So SolidWorks and um, Adobe software stuff. I, I also used to use SolidWorks and then I no longer had a uh, university license for it, so I no longer use it. But it's great what you can do with all the CAD software these days. Oh yeah, it is. So um, then when you've made your final design for the, the 300 uh, Mu, was it, why did you go for a cube? Was it just like a cube, it's the perfect looking shape and, or, or why did you go for it? Uh, exactly that. I wanted a geometrical perfect shape and so I started from the outside to the inside um, while with the um, first two series I built it up from the inside to the outside yeah. and honestly uh, the first one was just plain ugly. <laughs> the you... second one was okay, uh, the 300 is beautiful. Yeah, how would you describe your computers? Do you think of it as art or as furniture because it looks good in your living room for example or is it just is it still just a computer um, I see it as um, in first line as furniture second line as tool workstation office computer and um, a third is kind of art yeah okay but it's still so I had to combine uh, all the all of the three um, to um, be unique on the market because um, most computers you can buy are metal, plastic, and doesn't fit to anything um, in the high quality interior design market. Yeah, okay. So, um, is that then also why you, like, I talked to you, of course, before this interview. Um, is that also why you then um, started selling it as whole systems? Because it had to be high quality? That's right. Um, it had to be uh, perfect. It had to be high quality uh, because um, I don't want it uh, to see an incubus which is loud or um, lame isn't the right word, uh, slow. Yeah. Um, and so I restricted this to uh, computers we uh, built, of, um, computers I built my own. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense in a way. But there are some problems as well with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the problem with that was then, of course, being able to sell it outside of Germany because of all the regulations around. Um, so that is that then why you're now selling it as a case, just a case as well? Um, there are two reasons for it. Um, the first reason is just um, that uh, we got many uh, requests via email who just wanted to case, uh, buy their own computer. And then um, uh, we have had we had many requests out of Germany, uh, UK, Austria, Australia as well, and uh, we weren't allowed to deliver them. So we just decided to uh, sell the case um, to satisfy the market outside Germany. So um, now that you're just selling the case uh, outside of Germany? Are there plans in the future to uh, also sell full systems outside of Germany? Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, we are uh, right now searching for distributors uh, for um, UK, Austria, France and the Netherlands. But I guess this will take some months to complete. Yeah, of, of course. Yeah, it's always a lot of work, that stuff. Um, so with just selling the case, um, why is there no dedicated GPU option? Like, why aren't? Because your own personal rig right now is a micro ATX version of the case. Uh, why is there no option to put a proper big graphics card in the 300 mu cases? Um, I had really big hopes um, for the APUs um, and their graphics power. Uh, so um, they are enough for, I guess, 95% um, of the games. But uh, the problem is uh, users, also uh, enthusiasts, uh, really want to play the uh, AAA games and uh, really demanded a graphics card. Yeah, and so are there plans to incorporate GPUs in the future? Uh, yeah, there are. Um, I'm currently working on some um, cut prototypes, but um, it probably uh, will take until next year. Yeah. to complete 
Okay, and uh, and I really hoped um, the development uh, with the APUs uh, would have been a lot faster. Yeah, hopefully now with Ryzen and Vega, AMD can do some sort of super APU that would be awesome. Because I also had really high hopes for APUs, but then AMD forgot how to make CPUs. So they they were really great for that time. They were fast. You could play a lot of yeah. uh, a lot with it. But after that, four years ago they were great, but now yeah. Um, so, are there also other types of systems or form factors that you're planning on? Uh, not exactly planning. I'm just thinking of uh, making the um, 300 mu uh, a little bit smaller using Intel Nuke or other form factors. Yeah. But um, it isn't really planned right now. I, okay. I'm just thinking about it. Um, how how actually is, you talked a lot about using a CAD software to design stuff? How is the, uh, the development of like a wooden computer case, is it faster or slower than going with a metal or plastic case? Um, I guess it's the same um, speed. Um, first there are drawings, then they are cut, and then uh, rebuilding prototypes per hand. Um, in case of Jung, uh, Incubus uh, Serenade Mu, there were about 40 of them. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, uh, what is a um, working material and you have to be really, really exact so that it works when it's warm, cold or whatever. Yeah, I noticed that with my own wooden PC case. I, I don't know if you saw it, I, I built my own, uh, somewhat inspired and the side panels, those started cracking because of heat and humidity. So that wasn't really fun, so I have to redo it. Um, but yeah, with wood, are there other... Um, aspects of wood that you find good for computer building? Um, there are two main aspects. Um, the first one is um, that we don't have any gaps. When you have metal sheets and put them together, there's always a gap. Yeah. No matter how you put it, there will be gaps. And um, when you use um, massive materials, wood or maybe thick plastics, you can uh, really have fine edges without any crack or yeah. gap and yeah, so on. So design-wise, um, you're able to um, create something really unique. Uh, the second aspect is uh, the noise insulation. Um, so you already know uh, I like my computer is really, really silent. Yeah, of course. And wood absorbs a lot of noise, especially the high-pitched one, ones. Yeah, OK. Uh, like. I, I said wood, but you also have a plexiglass version of the... Uh, we had. We don't have it anymore because um, it doesn't really absorb um, yeah. noise in any way. So, yeah. And um, it's really hard to keep them clean because it's a very, very glossy mm -hmm. um, surface. Yeah. So um, I think it was three weeks ago we discontinued um, Perpex in cubing. Yeah. Okay. Are you uh, planning on joining on the tempered glass and RGB craze that's going on? Maybe, but not for the uh, 300 mu, but uh, for a possible predecessor. I know you learned working with wood at university in the workshop. Um, are you doing everything in-house? Uh, not everything. Uh, we do um, the cases out of wood and the paintwork in-house. Uh, we also test the hardware and um, the end montage um, at home, uh, at home um, in house. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the metal sheets uh, we get from a supplier, uh, and they are uh, CNC lasered. Yeah, of course. And um, why are you with going with metal backs? Is it wasn't it possible to go with wooden ones, or was it not strong enough if you go with really thin panels? Uh, it would have been strong enough if we would take really rare hard wood, but uh, we didn't want to do that. Yeah. Okay. But I do like the special wood accents in like the logo or the um, the triangle at the front. I'll, I really like those wood accents. So. Yeah. Um, so where do you think the uh, the desktop computer is headed? Are you? Still believing in uh, the APU systems, or do you think it's all going to be CPU and GPU in the future? I still believe in the future of APUs, um, not the present, because there weren't any development uh, um the last four years. 
but uh, I really hope uh, Ryzen and Vega bring something new on the market. Yeah. For the desktop PC itself, I guess we have one or two decades until it will vanish. I really like all the different color schemes and combinations of woods and feet and all those like the LED color in the power button. Um, are you planning on doing more of the, uh, the one-off um, artistic paint jobs? Um, we bought every in, uh, incubus by hand, so um, we also do the uh, paint work for each incubus. Uh, incubus. So um, you can have every color, even uh, those that are not in the shop. And we, are, we will work together with Petty Artist uh, from Austria, who painted the um, golden one. Maybe you saw it? Yeah, of course. Of course, you saw it, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so, if people want some, um, some even more unique uh, incubus, they will get one from Petty. So, uh, anyway, um, thank you very much for uh, doing this interview. And um, I think if the viewers have any questions, they can ask it below. And uh, I'll try to answer that or forward them to you. Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll talk again in the future with uh, the NUC case if that happens or with the follow up version of the 300 MU. Yeah, of course. I'll yeah. tell you about it. Okay, when bye. Happen. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye.